Hello everyone. In this video, I want to demonstrate how to install missing packages when you run Jupyter Notebook files using VS Code. I'll be using Windows as my operating system. And so here we have a Jupyter Notebooks file. And if we try to run this code segment, what we're seeing is an import error. <clears throat> so this is because this uh, Python version executable does not have this package installed so this is due to our Python version being set to this path which it's normally not set to so what we have to do is we have to click on it and then select our correct uh, Python path what's correct for you will depend on your own system but what is correct for me is this path right here uh, Python 8.5 so I'm going to click on that so once it's set to Python 8.5 I'm going to rerun this code segment and you can see that it executes successfully because these packages are already installed in uh, this Python version so now let's say you want to use a different Python version such as this one right here, which is a virtu which is a Python uh, executable in a, a virtual environment. <clears throat> if we click on this, it shows the name Titanic ENV, and that's because uh, that is the name of the virtual environment that is uh, created. So I'm in the folder that contains this Titanic ENV package, and if we hover over this name we can see titanic env slash script slash python exe so if we do an ls on titanic env slash scripts we can see that it contains the python executable file so if we run this uh, python version with uh, this code snippet we can see that uh, the pandas library is not installed in this specific Python version. So that's because we switched to a different Python version and this one does not contain the pandas uh, library. So now that begs the question, how do we install pandas in this Python version? Well, what you have to do is you have to go to this path. So Titanic ENV scripts Python exe so I'm already there at this point in my terminal. So what I'm going to do is first I have to activate the virtual environment. So I run the following command. Source Titanic ENV script slash activate. And now you can see I'm in the Titanic, Titanic slash ENV uh, virtual environment. So now what I can do is use pip to install pandas. By the way, this step is very important. So if you don't go into the virtual environment, when you do pip install pandas, it's not going to uh, use Python, which we can see here. If we type which Python, it'll say uh, this is the current Python path, which is the Python executable file right here. But if we deactivate this virtual environment and then say which Python, you can see that this is a different path. This is the base path right here that we used that way that I current that I previously used so in order to change our Python path we have to make sure we enter the virtual environment once we enter there we can see the Python path changed so now we can type pip install uh, pandas and see if this works so now it's downloading pandas and what we want is this pandas package to be installed in the right uh, site packages directory. So you can see here, this path right here is the installation path or the path uh, that this Python version is residing in. So now we've successfully installed pandas. So now let's try running this code snippet and you can see that it executes successfully and that's because we installed pandas in that specific Python site packages folder so 
when dealing with different versions of Python, always be mindful of which version you're using, which path it's on. And this command is very useful, which Python. So you can use this to always check out what versions of Python you're running and VS Code's uh, this little uh, top right uh, drop down menu. So that should resolve, that should help you resolve missing packages and import errors uh, if you run into any when using Jupyter Notebook files. So uh, that's it for my tutorial. I hope it was useful. If you found it useful, consider liking the video and subscribing to my YouTube channel. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.